Hi everyone and welcome back to my virtual classroom. For our math easy episode for today, we will be learning solving quadratic equations by extracting the roots. So let's get started. Our topic for this episode is solving quadratic equation, specifically by extracting roots. When solving equations by factoring, we show that an equation such as x squared minus 25 equals 0 could be solved by factoring the binomial on the left side of the equation and using zero vector theorem. So this will be x and 25, the root is 5, so x minus 5, x plus 5 equals 0. That will give us x minus, minus 5 equals 0 and x plus 5 equals 0, which is x equals 5 and x equals negative 5. There is another way to solve this type of equation for x that does not involve factoring. Instead, we could isolate the perfect square or your x square then take the square root of both sides of the equation to solve for x this is known as extracting square roots so for this case if you have this this will be x squared minus 25 equals 0 and you just need to transfer 25 to the other side of the equation so that's x squared equals 25 take the square root of both sides, you will have x equals plus minus 5. So which means that when we isolate a perfect square, we have to identify that a square root can be a positive or a negative value. Since square of a positive 5 is 25 and square of a negative 5 would still be 25. So let's take the example 5x bracket squared minus 20 equals 0. So when we solve this type of equation, the first step that we have to do is transfer minus 20 to the other side of the equation. So you will have 5x squared equals 20. The next step is to take the square root or both sides. That will be 5x equals plus minus the square root of 20. Now since 20 has a factor that is a perfect square, which is 4 times 5, then we can have it as 5x equals. So square root of 4 will be 2. So you have plus minus 2 root 5. Then we divide both sides by 5. Hence, we have x equals plus minus 2 root 5 over 5. So that will be our answer. Let's take another example. We have x plus 1 brackets square minus 9. So this will be transfer 9 to the other side. x plus 1 square equals positive 9. Then we take the square root on both sides. We will have x plus 1 equals plus minus the square root of 9 is 3. So plus minus 3. Transfer plus 1 to the other side. Hence we have x equals negative 1 plus minus 3. So here we have x equals negative 1 plus 3 or we have x equals negative 1 minus 3. So our x will be x equals 2 or x equals negative 4. Let's take another example. So here we have 3 times x minus 4 square minus 16. So the first that you have to transfer is minus 16 to the other side. So that will give us 3 x minus 4 square equals positive 16. Then we divide it by 3. You will have x minus 4 square equals 16 divided by 3. 
Then we take the square root. You will have x minus 4 equals plus minus square root of 16 over 3. Now, since 16 is a perfect square, hence we can have x minus 4 equals plus minus 4 over root 3. Now, we have here a minus 4 on one side. So, all we need to do is transfer it to the other side. So, our x would be equal to 4 plus minus 4 over root 3. Now, please do take note that if you have to simplify, the root 3 needs to be removed by rationaliz rationalization. So, you can do it when you are required to simplify it. Let's take another example. We have 49 minus, and then in brackets, 2x squared. So since this is negative 2x squared, we can actually transfer this to the other side of the equation instead of 49. So you will have 49 equals 2x squared. Take the square root, you will have plus minus of this. So plus minus of square root of 49 will be 7 equals 2x. Then we transfer 2. This will be divided by 2. So we have plus minus 7 over 2 equals our x. More examples to come. Let's say you have 6 times 5 plus x squared minus 42 equals 0. Transfer minus 42, you will have 6, 5 plus x squared equals positive 42. Divide this by 6, you will have 5 plus x squared equals, then you need to divide 42 divided by 6. What is 42 divided by 6? Can you guess? That is right, it is 7. Then we take out the square root. So, have to square, I mean, take out the square, that will be square root. So you have 5 plus x equals plus minus root 7. Transfer 5 to the other side, you will have x equals negative 5 plus minus root 7. Let's take another example where you have a fraction. When you have a fraction, if on both sides you just need to cross multiply. So for this case, we first need to transfer minus 13 to the other side of the equation. So you will have 2x plus 3 square over 3 equals 13. Then we cross multiply. So since this is over 1, so that means that you just need to multiply it by 1 or it is as it is. Square equals 3 times 13. So 3 times 13, you will have 2x plus 3 square equals 39. Transfer the square by square root, you will have 2x plus 3 equals plus minus square root of 39. Now, is there a factor of 39 that is perfect? I don't think so. So that will be as it is. So what you need to do is you have to transfer 3. So you will have 2x equals minus 3 plus minus square root of 39 and then divided by 2. So our x here, let me just write it here on top. That will be x equals minus 3 plus minus root of 39 over 2. Now let's have our last example. So you have here plus 4. So you transfer plus 4 to the other side. So x squared equals negative 4. 
Now since this is a negative 4, and when you take the square root, this will be x equals plus minus the square root of negative 4. This is what we call an imaginary number, which means that the square root of a negative number does not exist. Therefore, our x here will be no solution. Let's have this as our last and final example. So, since that's a square, you just need to take the square root of both sides, plus minus square root of 16, that will be x minus 3, square root of 16 is plus minus 4, and then we transfer minus 3 to the other side, so that's x equals positive 3 plus minus 4. Therefore, our x will be 3 plus 4, or x will be 3 minus 4. Therefore, x will be 7, or x equals negative 1. Thank you, and see you next time. I hope that you have learned something new today, and if you're new to my class, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for your attendance today. And as always, as Teacher Maria would say, please do live your life to the fullest, learn something new every day, and love one another as how our God loves us. See you next episode for our Maths Easy Series. Bye!